security of a nation is ensured if all of its citizens have enough nutritious food available, all persons have the capacity to buy food of acceptable quality, and there is no barrier on access. The Kenyan government targets to achieve 100% national food and nutrition security through the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Fisheries and Irrigation. This necessitated the formation of various food processing parastatals in Kenya, including Kenya Meat Commission. The Kenya Meat Commission KMC was formed in 1950 through an act of parliament with an objective of providing a ready market for livestock farmers and providing high-quality meat and meat products to consumers. It is the most experienced meat processor in Kenya and the larger East African region. KMC was reopened on 26 June 2006 after 15 years of closure with the objective of promoting the meat industry in Kenya, both domestic and for export. It was expected with its huge capacity, it would complement government efforts in Kenya's economic recovery. This did not suffice as there were still challenges in management and operations. KMC was operating below capacity and was grappling with unreliable supply of meat and dilapidated plant. In 2020, Kenya Defense Forces was mandated to revive the Kenya Meat Commission. The former president fully transferred the management of the commission from the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries to the Ministry of Defense. The transfer mandated the KDF to redesign the infrastructure of the commission with the view of making it more viable and to meet food challenges in the country. KDF embarked on its revival through modernization of the facility, through upgrade of its plant and machinery to be in tandem with the very best standards of global meat processing. Within five months, a modern facility was completed. When we got the mandate, one thing we had to do, we had to take a very thorough audit of the KMC assets. So we sort of uh, constituted a team that took very forensic audit of the commission in terms of both the assets and personnel. After that, we launched into refurbishing the facility because, as you are aware, most of the facilities were down. So we refurbished the, the plants, we refurbished the buildings, and after that now we started purchase of the key equipment. Uh, after that, now we, have, uh, uh, we came up with a very progressive business plan. Over the years, farmers supplied animals to Kenya Meat Commission without being paid, running into millions. So the first thing we did was to pay all debts, just to restore farmer confidence. In May 24, 2021, former President Uhuru Kenyatta relaunched the commission. Since we caused this transfer, in September of last year, I note with appreciation the various rehabilitation initiatives to the Commission the KDF has undertaken. The transformation is evident in the improved infrastructure that we are launching today, and this occasion is more momentous because the cost of rehabilitation of this industry was only a fraction of what we had been told previously. Ongera KDF, Ongezi San, Wendele Namna Hill. Five months ago, uh, you tasked the KDF uh, to lead uh, in the revitalization uh, of this factory. Uh, we, uh, as KDF, uh, got to task. And I can assure you now, Your Excellency, that. Uh, we have uh, achieved the objective and we have achieved and accomplished the mission as provided by your, your Excellency. In order to accomplish the mandate, reorganization and restructuring of the commission immediately kicked off. Systems and processes were put in place to ensure a seamless production chain that starts with procuring of animal from farmers, slaughtering process, quality assessment, packaging and delivery and lastly sales and marketing of the final product. We have got 11 departments. Among the 11 departments we have got the operations department which consists of uh, the livestock department, 
sales and marketing department, engineering department, quality department, and uh, production department. And other support uh, department includes the ICT department, finance department, human resource department, and uh, legal, as well as the internal auditors department. Different unit heads in the value chain system play a crucial role to ensure efficiency and are committed to maintaining the highest standards of hygiene and product excellence. The revamped commission began an operation that has seen the facility operate with efficiency, effectiveness and innovation. Kenya Meat Commission has a huge production capacity and infrastructure. Kenya Meat Commission is guided first and foremost uh, with the Meat Control Act, Public Health Act, Kenya Bureau of Standards. We do slaughter of the livestock, of the sheep and of the goat. The production process begins with livestock being received at the BOMA by the veterinary officers in charge of the plant. The livestock is then clinically inspected and rested in the pens before the animals are released for slaughter. The meat is dispatched as carcasses or as value-added products which is finally delivered to various consumers. So as to ensure that KMC products are of the highest quality standards, thorough clinical inspections are carried out by qualified government inspectors. So when the animals come here, we do an dermatom inspection, and that basically is to rule out any disease conditions that may have uh, arisen during transit, or if at the point of issuance of the permit were not noticed. So here we reject animals based on that. And again, we also look at animals of good conformation. So once they don't conform to our expectation that we have specified to the suppliers, then we reject those animals based on that. Kenya Meat Commission has an in-house laboratory that has two sections, the chemical section and the microbiology section. At the chemical section, they ensure that the water treatment processes are in control. We also analyze our sausages to ensure that the fat content are within the Kenya Bureau of Standard Requirements. The other section, which is our microbiology lab, perform verification process, uh, verification of what has been produced to ensure that the products that uh, go to the customers are within the quality parameters that are required. This is geared towards ensuring high quality standards and safety of our products. Kenya Meat Commission is the biggest and the most modern licensed abattoir that supplies top quality meat and meat products. This is as a result of utilizing the best sales and marketing strategies. We have online um, marketing programs through our Facebook pages, our website, and then through direct sales. Direct sales is whereby the sales personnel can be able to go directly to the customers and be able to uh, tell them what actually KMC offers to the market in terms of the meat and meat products. This kind of uh, strategy is going to help consumers not only in Nairobi but in other areas to be able to access the KMC Nyama and just have the juicy part of it without necessarily coming to Nairobi to have an experience with KMC. KMC intends to regain its market leadership position and once again be the market standard for quality products and services. In line with our, our strategy, we also intend to decentralize KMC because as, as it were, you, you know, our deliver is far away from our major livestock farmers. So we want to partner as well with the, with the county government so that we operationalize abattoirs, uh, miniature abattoirs, and of course, uh, with all the value addition uh, facilities like canning, uh, blood uh, processing, uh, what we call red lane, so that they, uh, we, we, we can cater for all the waste. And this one, we want to go now nearer to the farmer, and we have identified areas where we would like to partner so that we are again more accessible to the livestock farmer. So we plan to have a plant along the load of access uh, so that farmers, Lodwa is one of the counties with the highest animals in Kenya. We also now again want to have a facility near uh, along the Moyale uh, axis near Marisabet where we would like now the farmers around that region to have close accessibility to KMC facility. And finally we want to 
also move to the Madela axis, possibly near Wajia, so that we can again uh, effectively serve the farmers. The commission has since enhanced operations aimed at attaining a competitive advantage. This has resulted to the achievement of significant milestones that are geared towards the commission's survival and profitability. We had set uh, targets on uh, the number of customers that we attain within uh, the time frame. Uh, we started with the, the security agencies, slowly moving to the other uh, agencies and customers. And what I can say is that uh, we have slowly improved ourselves from the initial uh, 3.5 million when we came in. Uh, last month we did about 290 million. So it means we are moving slowly towards uh, our targets. There is more uh, uh, customer loyalty uh, currently, and this is actually witnessed by the growth in sales of what you're having and an expanded customer base. The response is uh, overwhelming in terms of uh, the quality of the meat that we are offering to them, and then also the pricing and the packaging. So far, we are having uh, consumers who are excited with our products, and we really appreciate their feedback in terms of continuous improvement to make sure that we are meeting their needs. In addition, efforts have been made to build the capacity required to meet the ever-changing market needs. We have operationalized a number of outlets, what we call the Nyamahaven shops. We are employing direct uh, the sales personnel. Uh, currently we have done uh, one at Ad River. We operationalized the one at uh, Ladis Depot in Nairobi. Uh, about a week ago we operationalized an outlet at Makupa in Mombasa where we are employing close to 20 sales personnel. This included offsetting all pending payments owed to the farmers by the Commission. Not only did the revival and productivity of KMC boosted the growth of meat industry, but has also contributed to the economic development. The revival of KMC has immensely contributed to the national development. One thing, we are directly uh, provi providing uh, market to the livestock farmer. Also, uh, with our progressive uh, uh, model, business model, we are paying the farmers within 72 hours. So you can see the ripple effect in terms of uh, the cash flow in the counties where we are getting these animals. KMC Revival has also uh, directly provided employment. Since we came in, uh, we have retained the initial 232 employees. On top of that, as we increase activities, production activities, so far we have engaged uh, close to 320 cashers who are being paid contracted work for KMC. Timely payments for livestock has helped create predictability in the livestock sector, further improving on livestock farming, the livelihoods of farmers and stakeholders in the meat industry. Wakati ya yeshi, dio mambo yiko mzuri sana. Tulifurai. Sababu walianza kuchua mifuko kutoka kwetu. Wakati walifungua, walikuja, walisunguka ma, masoko, waki organize na farmers, ili walete mifuko kwa hapa. Sasa tunafulaia, kama yeshi hiko, sababu malipo ni mzuri, tunalete ngobe mzuri, wanapokea mzuri, na wanatulipa. Ile siku wanana, ile, 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 ile siku mbili, siku tatu. Yeah. The revival of the factory has improved livelihoods through job creation and creation of market for livestock. Tuluko tunaenda mpaka tunakaa like 3 months without salary. Nakuja tu tunachinja ngombe 20 one man in Aisha. Lakini kwa sasa kwa sababu serikali walikundua shida yenye ilikuwa wameleta wanajeshi wameingia wapi katika kiwanda chetu cha Kenya Meat Commission at the River. Kwa sasa tunaweza chinja ngombe Mianne, 350 to 400 per day. Na small stock, na chinja miatano na saidi, kwa kila siku. To be a preferred regional process of quality meat and meat products, KMC has anchored its operations and business modeling in core values that KDF subscribes to. They include professionalism, integrity, transparency, commitment, and teamwork. We've been able to achieve so much within a short time because the competencies within uh, the various cadre of uh, soldiers we have 
in this facility. It is uh, compounded by the aspect of uh, discipline, integrity, and strategic orientation. Kenya Meat Commission is motivated to remain an innovative parastatal, surpassing customers' expectations in providing better products and at the same time inspiring and uplifting the whole country. Wametuletea nyama ya hata kuchoma, wametupatia service ya fresh food, good food, uh, friendly price, yeah, and they serve us well. Ngependa kuambia tu ya kwamba, muangadi viwanda zingine ziko pia, zina yumba yumba, jinsi kenya michi kwa ina yumba yumba. Kwa hivyo mchukua atua, mkaeze kuenda kwa viwanda zingine, mutembei kule. Pia serikali ingilie kati, tuma wanajeshi kule. Akika wende wakafufue, ndo uchumu wa taifa la kenya wakaezo kimarika.